everybody doing? It's time for another episode of the History Scratch and Sniff Stickers. In this episode, we're going to be dealing with a company called Plymouth Inc. So they made stickers, I believe, there's no date on these, but I think these are 82. So they came out stickers from 82 up to the last series that I know, which is similar to 84, but these are dated 85. And you can see they got a little, little different, uh, little different header there. So we'll start with the beginning. This is the first one you're going to see is a complete set. The rest you're going to see are, are just partials. Nobody has a complete set yet or hasn't been cataloged yet. So the first one is called the Sticker Store. And you can see the back. It had a little thing similar to Sesame Street. It's like even kind of a little play on Big Bird in a sense of Little Bird. So the first one was Rose Scented. You can see there. And I almost almost have a complete set sealed. The only one I don't have sealed is this single uh, perfume sheet. So it's pretty cool. They're gloss. They're kind of half glossy. Half matte in a sense, kind of like that hybrid, but they do still hold their scent, luckily. And we have the t shirt ones, there's two of those. You got pizza, and you have a strawberry. And then they had top tunes, which is apple. That one actually smells really good, the apple one. And this one's orange, very nice there. And we got the monkey set, which is coconut, which kind of makes sense. And of course, we'll do monkeys like bananas. So, of course, they're gonna make a banana scent. And you can see they do repeat it after a while. I think it's like this. I think there's, there's six different and then it repeats. And we got the comic books. They smell pretty good. Bubble gum. Which kind of makes sense. You associate bubble gum. Who would associate pickle with comic books? I guess I couldn't come up with another scent for that. We got group Goofy Groceries. These are chocolate. Very cool. And orange again makes its second appearance for the goofy groceries. Then we got the kitty arcade, which is cola, which makes sense. Of course, you go to the arcade, you drink some soda. And of course, some snacks, popcorn makes again makes sense for the arcade. That would have been cool. Uh, it would have been cool if they made like a movie one with that with popcorn and like chocolate or something. And we got sneakers, stinky. That's kind of funny. So I guess kind of like a skunk scent. I don't have a sheet of these, only a sealed pack. And the last of the sticker store series was, would be bubblegum for silly sneakers. This actually was probably the last sealed pack I acquired. The easier ones to get are like the comic book ones. Any of the any of the sweet and scenty, those are rare. And the silly sneakers are rare. Those are the hardest ones to get. Then there's a big series, but I only have one or two of these. I believe there's also a red on blue instead of blue on red for these. So you got the puffies. They're pretty cool. They're... As you can see, they're the same. They're half matte, half glossy. So you got the puffies there of bubble gum. And let's see, the McDonald's one. I don't know what it would smell like. Oh, grape. Duh, it says right there. So that's grape scented. There probably was a strawberry one, which was red on blue. Because I have seen that before. Then, 1980, let's see, these are 83. Then, 84, they went to a similar gloss, half glossy, half matte. And they started doing sports teams. So you got the National, they got Major League Baseball, which is... Cola, popcorn, and pizza. Which kind of makes sense. Except uh, I don't remember ever having pizza. It should have been more like beef or something, or hot dog. Because I'd associate that more with baseball. So we got National League East. And, and we got the National League West. As you can see, the headers are all the same. It just says what division. And then American League East. And then the American League. Of course, this is Boo Boo. supposed to be American League West. As you can see, they put it in the wrong wrapper. So we got the American League West, which completes which completes all of Major League Baseball. Now there are NFL ones, which are called huddles, but I only have one of those. I can guarantee, as you can see, it says Western Division. There's probably the Eastern Division and all of them, AFC, NFC. So this one's Cola Popcorn Pizza as well. They just rehashed, rehashed the scents. Then they did something called Sticker Scene in 84. It looks like a lot of them are, a lot of them are car as you can see, they're all car names. You got Corvette, Corvette, Datsun, Pontiac. And Speedway, I don't know what Speedway would smell like. I guess it would smell like rubber, I guess, in a sense. And these, probably the same thing. It probably smells like rubber. Turbo, I guess it would smell like oil or gas. And Turbo. Pretty cool, though. Nice to see the old cars on there. I remember those on the road. And then the last, last of these, uh, I do did find an apple sheet in my storage unit, but I forgot to bring it back. So we got bubble gum. These are just generic, but these are the latest ones dated 1985. I've never seen ones after that, 
and of course the numbers are really high on these numbers are well in here. So I hope you enjoyed that, the whole history of Plymouth, at least what's known. There's a lot more out there, so so if you have any, feel free to toss a comment. Let me know which ones you have and stuff. And, and if you enjoyed it, like it, toss a sub if you haven't already, and uh, hit the bell. And as usual, see you in the next video, and hope you have a great day, and see you then. Bye-bye.